Okay, uh, this video, um, I'm doing a, a, a short brief review on two micron gauges that I own. Uh, to the left, you have the BlueVec LTE uh, basic uh, micron gauge, and to the right, you have the Phil Piece uh, SVG, SVG3 uh, micron, micron gauge. Um, uh, basically, in a nutshell, uh, I, I, I I have likes and dislikes about both uh, units. Um, uh, to make a long story short, I bought the Blueback the Blueback uh, Micron Gauge first. Uh, it was it was you know within my price range and everything like that. It had the the, the main Blueback LT uh, the Blueback model above this one, but I was not uh, willing to pay two hundred plus bucks uh, uh, for it. And uh, with the Blueback LTE, you know it was kind of right up my alley. Uh, price wise and also you know, pretty much help me get the job done uh, when I need it. Now when I first started using it um, I was using it with my Appian um, half inch hoses and my Appian core removal tools and I couldn't get this this this, this uh, micron gauge to register and so for weeks on end um, when I would try to you know, use this thing you know, it wasn't working out, and then I had to go back to using you know, the built-in micron gauge on my S-Man 4. Um, and then later on last year, I saw that field piece came out, you know, with you know, the newer, okay, with a newer uh, vacuum gauge. Um, so I jumped right on it, and it, you know, it had been working for me, you know, as well. Um, of course, I did have hang-ups with. Uh, using my Appian hoses and core removal tools, um, especially you know uh, early part of this year, because there were days I couldn't get this thing to register, and it wasn't until I brought it home and I started experimenting with it uh, that I realized, which the depressor here. So I'm gonna zoom in. Hold on one second. Let me zoom in. Okay. The depressor right here, um, you know, you couldn't tell whether or not if this thing was actually pushing down on the Schrader pin uh, when you uh, connected to uh, your core removal tool. And it was the trial and error that I realized that I had kind of tightened down on this too far because this, this, oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Hold on here, let me, because the, um, the cap right here uh, was so stiff at times, and I wanted to make sure that you know, as you, you, know you, you have play in it. So when I when I would connect it to you know my core removal tool, I wanted to make sure that I had a good tight connection uh, going on, so my gauge should uh, be able to read. Um, then I realized you know it wasn't working. You know I would tighten it down. I would you know, tighten it down tight. Still wasn't getting a reading on this. And again, like I said, uh, by trial and error, I, what I did was I kind of loosened the cap um, on his, and then I started getting readings on my display, um, which I thought was you no, know, I won't say kind of strange, kind of weird, but you know, I, I, again, you know, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, um, also what I discovered. Um, with the accessory piece here for the blue vac, which again I'm gonna zoom in in a second here. Let's position so you can see it. This bell here at the tip. This bell at the end, and the bell also right there had hairline cracks in them. Hairline cracks on both ends, so that kind of let me know that I may have you know, tightened down too tight on these. You know, trying to get this to you know read initially. So I ordered a new one, and um, you know started using it uh, recently. And now you know I'm starting to get you know this gauge to work. Now, basically, um, they both take 9 volt batteries. Uh, the blue vac, the attached piece here has a depressor at one end 
and open port at the other. Okay. The fill piece has you know just a depressor that screws in. Okay, or or you know the uh, cap screw on onto the uh, trader pin. Now, as far as consistency, as far as readings, uh, the blue vac, for whatever reason, um, I guess for whatever reason, but basically the, the blue vac, when I pull a vacuum with my um, Appian hoses, I also did a test at home, whereas I connected this and this to my uh, fill piece uh, S Man 4 to the ports there and pull a vacuum that way to see, you know, how much, you know, how accurate you know are the readings that I'm getting with the blue vac my readings are anywhere from 150 to almost 200 microns lower than fill piece and at first I was like wow you know this thing is reading almost 200 microns lower than this which in essence means that I don't have to wait as long as I thought I should uh, while pulling the vacuum. Now, on a test I did at home, where I had both the blue vac and the field piece connected to my S Man 4, the numbers on my S Man 4 micron gauge were kind of close to or almost consistent with the field piece uh, vacuum gauge. Whereas, let's say on my S Man 4, let's say if I had 800 microns. You know, this will probably read like 720, you know, close to 700. And then my blue vac would be in the 600s, which I thought, you know, that was, you know, uh, uh, pretty interesting. So, you know, to say the least, um, as I started to kind of get more and more comfortable uh, with using my Appian hoses and my core removal tools and, and the like, um, just kind of verify whether or not if you know my micron gauges actually were working like they're supposed to and for the most part they both are you know, the, you know that they both are um, I was, you just gotta be mindful in your setup um, let's see what did I do with them I'll be over here. hold on a second this out a little bit okay now the key thing is last year I bought these core removal tools you know by Appian and again like I said the key thing is no matter what core to core removal tool that you have and you got to make sure your fitting is tight um, they say hand tighten, you know, but there are times where I actually had to get the pliers and kind of tighten them just a little bit, not a whole lot, um, you know, on it to make a good seal. And um, I also use these on my S-Man 4 along with my vacuum gauge to see whether or not if uh, these things, you know, were actually working. You know, because like I said, I had so many problems trying to pull down a vacuum using my Appian hoses it was kind of hard to pinpoint whether or not it was the Appian hoses the core removal tools or because of the fact that neither one of these may have been seated properly on the um, on the uh, the accessory port accessory port so recently as I've done a couple YouTube videos I got some CND core removal tools now you know they're not rated per se as low as the Appians but from some of the YouTube videos that I've seen um, you know, these get the job done um, the only problem I've had with using this and I saw in another video was that when you when you try to take your straight up pin out sometimes this oh, let me 
focus, come on, focus, focus. Come on, focus. Yeah, come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, sometimes the uh, tip, accessory tip on here doesn't always necessarily um, grab the pen and you know, pull it out. And um, there were a couple of times where I had that issue, whereas I couldn't pull the um, straighter pen out of these. Um, usually I haven't had any problems pulling them out, but there were times where it was so difficult and so hard, uh, you know, trying to pull it out. It took me a few a few tries. And then I saw on a couple of YouTube videos where they use CNDs. And the CNDs, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, grabbed the pen, pulled it out, no issues, no problems. So on my last job or install that I did, I used my CNDs. Now, with the CND core removal tools, um, compared to the Appians, they are a little smaller, you know, a little less, you know, bulkier. But I guess for me being so used to using the Appians uh, throughout last year, it was a slight you know, adjustment with the, with the CNDs. Now, overall, the CNDs were great. You know, you know, they were fine for what I needed to do. I was able to pull down uh, our micron, I mean, um, pull down my vacuum you know, to well below 500 microns. So it does do the job. You know, I mean, I don't need to have to go low as 20 microns, which is what the Appians are rated for. I mean, as long as I get down to 500, that's all I really care about. Um, so, you know, with the CNDs, you know, they work pretty good. Um, you know, kind of have to get used to this, uh, you know, slanted accessory port. Um, and I guess, with, you know, with this uh, adaptive piece for the blue vac, it makes it uh, that much easier uh, to manipulate, you know, to put it where you want it to be. Um, so, you know, that's in a, in a nutshell. I mean, the only thing... Like I said, I know with, with most field piece items, you know, they don't uh, come with decent instructions. But with this one here, it's not that much to it. So, you know, I understand, you know, the short instruction manual. And then also, too, this comes with... This comes with... Oh, hopefully you guys saw that. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm not I'm zoomed in. This comes with, you know, a hook. And it snaps on the back like so so it's out of the way uh, they both come with hooks you know and, and the like you know unfortunately, unfortunately unfortunately the blue vac one um, you know his hook is stationary so you know it can't fold you know out of the way so that is it in a nutshell between the blue vac LTE micro gauge and the field piece uh, SV G3 micro gauge